question. All right, I will. And I want to thank you all, Steve, Mallory, and all the staff. Thank you for letting me be here. Oh, if I want to start with this, of course. Give me a second. Yeah. Okay, now I'm ready. And um, that's why I'm saying uh, thank you for letting me be here. I know this year because of the COVID, we had to do it in a different way. I wish I could be there celebrating, guys, with you in Boulder. But this time we're going to do different. And um, today, as every year, we've been talking about the coral formation and how the things are getting. I also want to tell you a little bit more about Cozumel and how we are doing it right now. Um, you know, with the COVID, things had changed for us a lot. And I don't know if you know, but we've been working since June 10. We've been taking people out for diving. And in those two months, since March to June that we were closed, we had to work and keep working on all the federal protocols. And maybe, well, you're seeing this picture where it's a collage of different pictures. In the top on the left, you see that a guy is the mate that now when you are diving, we have to sanitize the boat. So we have to pass some chemicals that they are not bad in the environment and also they are not strong chemicals like acids or uh, chlorine. It's different ones, it's more citrix things that we use to clean and to try to stop any um, problem with the COVID virus. As you can see all the medals, all the door for the bathrooms, this is in the boat. And before you get in the boat, uh, we had to clean the, the shoes and also get the um, alcohol uh, in gel for the hands and clean and get in the boat. All in our boats now, since we started in June, we were only 30% capacity. That uh, it was a big change because uh, a boat with 24 passengers, we were only allowing six people. Then we went to 50, 12, and this week we recently went to 60. Now we can have 14 people in the boat. We still had a lot of capacity and people had a lot of space to get ready. And also on the dock, we still had the fresh water tanks, but as you can see, we've been using it since a long time ago, this chemical, and this chemical is always when the people come and finish the dye, they can rinse the gear to make sure there is disinfected. At the dye shop, we got alcohol in gel everywhere and people are not, so many people allowed to get in. The dye shop is clean as always, all the time. I mean, things don't change, but we're just using more constantly the chemical, which I don't know if it's too good or not. Also, as you can see in the other picture, there is some guys walking to the boat. There is not so many people at the same time. What we're trying to do is we're trying to spread the dye trips at least in 15 to 20 minutes on. We don't have too many people on the pier. You can see in this picture all the pier for Casa del Mar. And you can see right now there is nobody, right? One boat just left. We are waiting for the second people to come and they can join and get on the boat. And then we are going. There is the other boat also getting ready to go out. And this is more or less how we do it. Look at the video. By looking at the video, you can see how we do the procedure to board the boat. Sorry. There's the other for the second dive, and then we had a space for the people so nobody sits together, right? We had to spread it a little bit of time. And you can see also in this picture, this picture was taken this morning. There were 12 people in this boat, and I don't see 12 people here on the picture. There is plenty of space for everybody, so nobody, it's not a crowd boat. So that is very good for the, for the coronavirus. Even that we are in salt water, sun, 
Uh, one thing that I have to mention is on the concrete area by the dye store, we are telling the people to bring the mask face. Once they get on the boat, it's up to the people if they want to use it or not. I would say in the case that they are grouped, normally they don't want to use it, but when they are people that come in alone, they use it. And some they do, some they don't. We are not really uh, being strong on you have to use it. It's up to everybody they use it. In a small boat, like a boat like this one, for eight people, you can see we are only five people here. So it's plenty space for a small boat. It's nice for a, a small family. This boat is great. Eight people, five people as a family together, or even can be eight people as a family. Because we can go to the harbor master and tell, hey, in this boat, uh, there is gonna be a family, so there's not gonna be a problem. Now, with the three months that we were locked inside the houses, the naturalists and the coral and the marine life in Cozumel really, really came back alive. It was really nice to see all the coral, the anemones back, a lot of fish, a little bit, the groupers grow more. Um, I don't have pictures of everything, but I had a few pictures to show you. There is nice thing, you see this anemone, you can see the hermit, the crab inside the anemone, the tentacles, it's really neat. Then below, you can see the spines of, a, I think it's a red clam, right there with sand in the mouth. The feather duster is very nice. When you get close and you start getting your fingers close, you can see how they're shrinking completely. It's a, like a Christmas tree, white completely. Arrow crabs, another kind of anemone. And you have to be good eyes, but inside, of the anemone, the spring anemone, there is called the pistol shrimp. And this pistol shrimp is like that because when you put your finger close to the anemone and the pistol shrimp comes out, they make like a, like a shot. You can hear the chuck. It's like an electric shock that it gets there. It's very nice picture of this one. Look at the reds, all the browns, good. The sponges and the wall, the wall is still fantastic, really, really nice. Uh, even we were diving in the beginning of June, July, we were seeing once in a while um, eagle rays, but of course they are not the season for the eagle rays, but we were lucky because we were probably were the first ones in coming to the, on the reefs. As I said, we've been diving since June and we were one of the most active dive shops in June. More here, nicer, sponges all over. And we also had, as you know, a lot of turtles. And I think this pandemic area and stopping the activity for spear fishing and diving for three months, the benefit came for the turtles. We were talking to the ecology group in Cozumel and they say that this year, the turtles start nesting in April and not in May and they were more lying eggs than other years. I, I had something that was good. As you can tell here, they don't bother. They are eating the sponges. They are not bothered for the divers. We also had the parrot fish. I can show you a little bit of this parrot fish. They <laughs> We also had the queen figures, nice, they coming out and friendly. I think they didn't see too many people, so they were crabs everywhere too. Gorgonias, they go back a lot of Gorgonias, you know, in Palancar areas, in all the reefs. Very nice. Um, also, uh, the marine park is still closing some areas for helping the reproduction of the corals, the spawning season. And probably they are better than last year that they suddenly they were very dramatic on closing a big area. This year they are closing one or two reefs at the time. So that gives us a lot of, still plenty of reef for, for, for doing. Right now this month, Palancar is closed, but the next month is gonna be open. Another good thing, and I had a video here is, because of this, a lot of families come and die together and they get their own private boat. As I'm gonna show you a video that you can see here is my, my family. Uh, 
I enjoy it. Those cute kids, Jorge. Oh, yes, they grow. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see them all diving. Yeah, they all diving. We are, yeah, even the smaller. Remember, you you uh, carried on your arms every one of them, Steve. <laughs> That's great. Now you can come back and, and dive with them. <laughs> but the other thing is, you see, the, as a family, we can dive. And then the other part is a really nice, uh, where you see the eagle, this race, big one, Southern Stingrays. This place is called El Cielo, the heaven. And it's very nice. Uh, this came a long time ago because after a hurricane, it brought a lot of sand. And it's really nice, like a swimming pool. It's good to go there and spend a couple of one or two hours as a surfing time and people can enjoy there. It's really neat. Well, I was telling you about the, the nesting of the turtles and this picture can show you the, the biologist says, nobody, not many people, no activities, the turtles start nesting in April. And they really did like three, more than 3,000 uh, new turtles before that. As you can see in the picture, there is a lot of red color piece of wood and that's all the nest. Every piece of wood is a nest on the beach. This is the beach on the west, east, north, east, east side of the island. And this is where the windward, windward side is. And as you can tell, there is also, we don't have sargasso in Cozumel, which is very nice for us for the beach. And a lot of nesting for this. And I can show you a video to see it more on detail. So the turtles is being big, big, too many. You can see the, the, the biologists go and collect the turtles, collect the eggs, and they wait until they grow, and then they go and release it on the beach. As you can see this little video, look how they find it new turtle on the beach. This was one afternoon that we were lucky that we were there and we just happened to see it. It's, it's amazing to see them running, running, running fast. They don't want to be eaten by a bird. So they run fast to the water and get in the water. Look at this one, how fast it goes. So about the corals before, before it's over, 
as we know, the, the turtles have been great. The coral reproduction this year, we were also closed, so we were not allowed to collect in August the corals, the spawning. So we just watch it. It, wa it happens again for second year in a row in August. It wasn't too big, it was small. The group tried in September, but September nothing happened. So we know the reef is growing and getting better. And uh, I don't know, guys, you have questions, let me know, please. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you, Jorge. That was amazing. Um, uh, more quick and, and as Steve says, it's nice to dive with the family because the family um, makes me go diving more often, right? And, yeah. And they see all the difference and they are interested because they're asking me, what kind of fish is this? What kind of coral is this? That this is growing, is not growing. So they want to protect the reef. They want to know what they can do and they want to get better diving too, right? So it's really that's, neat. That's fantastic. It was so fun to see you and your family diving during this time. Mm -hmm. um, we did have a few questions. Um, I know that we can go to Cosmo right now. Um, is there a best time to go diving? Is it good to go diving right now? You, you know, like, I would say all year around, Cozumel is good for diving, no doubt. But if you expected to see eagle rays, eagle rays are more uh, maybe new sharks or the chances to see bigger marine life is usually from December till April, May. Why? Because it's when the weather, when the water is more, uh, cold, it's colder water. Of course, remember for Cozumel, cold water may be 77, 78 Fahrenheit, right? And it's the time when the, all the eagle rays come in uh, all together. It's not one, they come many together. And also for the sharks, you see more sharks more often. But the rest of the year, I would say life is really good. The only thing is like, like in summertime, the weather is fantastic. The ocean is very calm and flat, but we don't have the eagle rays. No, but we had a lot of turtles. And the reason is we've been protecting for so many years the, tor the, the turtles that now we see it almost every day in, in Cozumel. And they are eating the sponges. You find the sponges everywhere that they are thrown. That's fantastic. Yeah, that kind of leads into my next question. I know you talked about the coral restoration um, yeah. and you say you're seeing a little bit more turtles. Is there any other marine life that you're just seeing more now than you did before? Uh, well, I think we see more turtles, right? Yeah. More turtles, definitely more turtles in, uh, that we've seen. I've seen that we used to have a lot of groupers and for a moment I think the groupers almost disappeared but they are coming back. The same with the parrot fish. That's what I put the, 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 the little video of the parrot fish, because I seen they coming back, you know, the, the green one, it was very hard to see it, but now I see it more often and I see they getting bigger. And also the blue parrot fish, it, it, you, you can see it then more often, that, that is really neat. Yeah, that's fantastic. I think the parrotfish is actually my favorite fish of yes. anything. <laughs> I just <laughs> love them. <laughs> no, don't, don't mention the lobster because they come out to you and, and they are laughing at you that you cannot do anything. No? <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see what else we had. Jorge, did you talk about where you're located on the island? Ah, no, 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 I never talk. We are located at the Hotel Casa del Mar. At the beginning, I show you the pier. That's a really good pier because it's, it's just a private pier mainly. And on the pier, we had a couple of things that I think they are great and take advantage. We had the lockers right there. We had the freshwater tanks. And we also are the only ones, I would say, that had a, a shallow reef in front of the hotel. We had a nice shallow reef for great ice in the afternoon. Or you want you just arrive and want to check your uh, weight, your buoyancy. It's a, a wonderful reef, shallow, nice, clear. You see the picture, and, and has a lot of coral formation. Wonderful for macro photographers. You will see wonderful pictures there. You can pick up from any hotel, though, right? Yes. Yeah, we pick up from downtown all the way south, from Cozumel Resort. Um, 
Fiesta Americana, Secret, Aurea, Allegro, all South, no problem. If they had a peer, we get in. Fantastic. Um, so you showed a lot of videos of boat diving. Do you guys do any shore diving? Yes, we do. That's what I say. We had a great place for shore diving. Awesome. Yeah, it's very good. The, the shore, as I said, the shore diving has a lot of macro life, it's small. Really, really neat to see the... Um, um, sometimes we have the flying gunars. Even there was a season that we were seeing almost every day the seahorses. We had uh, no uh, no flounders. Well, we had flounders, eagle uh, rays. Uh, we had a lot of marine life. Really, really nice. Awesome. Joe fish, the joe fish, very nice too. Um, and what about night diving? Night diving, yes, we have it too from the shore and from the boat. Right. Awesome. Right now, because of the of the COVID and the Harbor Master and the Marina, the Navy guys have been interfering a lot. They are not allowing night diving, right? Because they don't want us to finish late on the boat. But what we are doing is if you want to do like a short night dive in our place, because we don't use a boat, it's okay. You are at the hotel, you just beach dive right there and then you go to your room. Or, what I offer is a late afternoon dive, right? We finish between the sunset, the sunlight, uh, the twilight. It's almost getting dark, okay, we are finished the dive. We hurry up to the boat and go back to the hotel. We drop you and we come back to the, to the, <laughs> to our houses and everybody's happy. That's what we Clever, do. clever, yeah. Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds rough. <laughs> we need to change, we need to try to get close to the line, right? <laughs> We don't want the police or the soldiers stopping us. <laughs> this is not happening, really. Because to many, it's very safe and it's very calm about the, uh, the COVID, I would say. It, it, it's okay. Yeah, but we, we um, have gotten nothing but fantastic comments and rave reviews from people who have visited Cosmo and just like how safe it is and how comfortable they felt. And not one minute did they think about the virus or feeling unprotected or anything, which is, I mean, I, I would love that. Like I, I am hankering to travel right now. So it's fantastic. No, it, it's been good. I would say it's been good, it's been safe and people are understanding. Sometimes they have to wear a mask. Cozumel is a, the mayor and everybody says, if you are in downtown or restaurants, the restaurant make, uh, they cannot be full. Right, they need to be like 50, 60 percent, so the tables are not all together, spread out. I think it's better to be in a spread environment. And, and once you get on the board, it's up to you what you want to wear the mask or not. Um, I just have one last kind of fun question for you. How long have you yes. known Steve Weaver? Oof, uh, almost four years. I think. <laughs> 1983. We've been diving, well, we were diving together in 1983. That's a, a few years ago, right? Yesterday. <laughs> yeah. We've been the, second, the second trip I ever did to Cozumel was, yes. Jorge was my dive master. And that was, actually it was before 83, I think. Was it 83? Might have been earlier than that even, but. Oh, I was, no. But right around there. That's amazing. We were both teenagers then. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, fantastic. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. I want to encourage everybody to check out Cozumel Marine World's website. And just remember, if no. you want to travel right now, please let us know. We can get you down to Cozumel next week. So just let us know. Absolutely.